Welcome to the Montecito Resort and Casino. I love Vegas. I'm, I'm a night owl. I love going there. I can't go very often because I usually go like, oh, we're going to party, and then I leave there like, oh, what did I do that for? We don't have to go to Vegas. We, we have our own little mini Vegas. The set department has done a great job in recreating the feel of a casino. We all know the real Vegas, and we know how to emulate it here. Originally, the idea was to shoot in Vegas, the whole thing. The casinos were very accommodating. It's just that they cannot shut down for production because that's their livelihood. And the biggest part was finding a space to, to use, and we got very lucky in finding the space that we're at now. No other buildings in LA, really, that were this large. We have a 20,000 square foot casino here, and at the end, we punched a hole into the next soundstage for Mystique. We punched a hole over here to go into the surveillance room to go in these other sound stages on this side. This entire building here is very self-contained. We have our editing here, our writers are here, our producers are here, our directors are here, our actors are here, are all right here in one spot. When you look at this stuff and it looks like a real casino. The fact that this set is so massive and so realistic, it's quite easy to pretend you're actually in Vegas. We were sort of locked into the Mandalay Bay because we shot the pilot there. So we knew we had architecturally, which you can see here, some of the architect we had to follow. It seemed like it was overnight. I mean, we had crews working 24 hours a day. I think we had three crews at one point working three shifts. And we were working on weekends. We had the bar and a couple walls built before we started shooting. It's amazing, even though like two of the walls were gone, we had to shoot always from one side. And we kept building and building so we could start turning around and seeing the other portions of the casino. We really didn't have a complete casino until almost the end of the year of the first season. Welcome to our blackjack pit. Well, this is one of our blackjack pits, as you can see. We have uh, Montecito tables here, real felts. We have real chips. Everything in here, as I said, is real, including the carpet. Most of the stuff, tables-wise, came from Mandalay Bay. They were recycling, putting in new stuff, so they said, you know, basically, here, you take them off our hands. We did. We refurbished them, put them in here. We have just about every game you can think of. And if we don't have it, we just write it in, and, and we get it. If you look up here above us, this little bubble up there, when you go to Vegas, you'll see them everywhere. That's a surveillance camera. The biggest thing that I've learned is that there are indeed surveillance cameras everywhere all the time. It tends to make you a little paranoid. Now, when you visit the town, you know, you can't just pick your nose or scratch your ass without knowing that there's a hundred people watching. We have them all over the ceiling in this casino, and they can play live into our surveillance room, which is next door. So someone could be watching us right now, maybe even Big Ed. Down here, we have our rows of slots. We have about 150 working slot machines behind me. We had to have permission from the state of California to actually have them. A guy comes and turns them on and off. They're turned off so we can shoot because the bells and whistles are so loud that it would drive you insane. The slot machines that make no noise, I think, would be my favorite part of the set. This is our large blackjack pit. Crew members have been known to come in here during lunch and play, as have cast members. When I'm in Vegas, you'll find me here because uh, I got a weakness for blackjack, but this is how it happens. Yeah, I am starting to get that little, that little feeling for it now that I'm walking down this road right now and, and talking about it. Uh, I wanted to show you our craps table. It's, uh, it's just like here in Vegas. I love it. Uh, we um, don't play here, but if I did, I'd let it roll right now. We got it all here at the Montecito. We got it all. Come on, sit down and relax. Let's play a hand or two. Welcome to Mystique. I'm Molly Sims, and this is where Delinda DeLine's character works. So as you look around, this is the bar. And it changes a lot because the bottles change, the lights change. They'll make it more red, more orange. But this is where I preside. Over here, if you'll follow me, I'll let you in on a little secret. Everything moves so I can actually move the whole bar. That's a little behind the scenes. Um, over here is like a little lounge area. This is where whales come in. A whale is a high roller. This is more of the dinner area where all the, all the people eat. Usually the guest stars end up having you know dinner in here. Would you like to see me in, in the cage? Not gonna happen, that's season three. Yeah. Well, this is our surveillance room here at the Montecito Resort and Casino. All right, let's find this guy. Mostly what we do in here is catch the bad guys. Just take a look at this. This is normally my desk. 
uh, here or there. James Lejeune is usually over there or here. It all kind of changes, but this is usually where we end up trying to solve the crime of the day. There's a bit of a contrast between my office and Ed's office. I guess that's what you get when you run the place. But he's not here right now. He's actually over at the uh, he's over at the Bella Petto having lunch with the topless girls. So come on up. Sometimes I'll come in and I'll pretend like I'm like I'm running the place so that I can sort of you know get ready for for my big day if and when it ever comes. So when he's not here, I know what he does because he's going to be here in an hour and he likes to have his people have things set up for him. So come on back. You discover a lot of things when he's not around. You know, like, like what the hell is this thing for? Where's it from? You know, and it, it just makes him all that more interesting. And normally, when I come in here, he tries to pretend like he's this tough guy, but he's always got these little donuts sitting in here. He doesn't think he, we, he tries to make us all think that he eats well. He still doesn't think I know about the donuts, but I do. One might think that as the creator of the show, you wouldn't have to clean the rooms too and put towels in, but I gotta do everything around this place. Lou, maid service. Here we are in one of our suites. This is a bedroom, and uh, you can see how thorough we are here. We even have we even have Montecito little signs. Thank you for staying. You know, we have Montecito everything here. And to be completely honest, the name Montecito came from the town of Montecito outside Santa Barbara, where I love to go. I thought, hmm, if I name it Montecito, maybe someday I'll make enough money that I could afford to buy a house there. OK, that's a good idea. And that's where it came from. Excellent happy hour. It's uh, not for a few more minutes, but we'll head down there and get some drinks in a minute. One of the great things about being on a set is, as you can see, I am in a, a suite in Las Vegas. There's the hallway. I'm going to close this door for you here. And, but if you look right up here, we're actually, there's no ceiling. And this is the, the world of fantasy. You, uh, you can't see it on TV, but it's up there. This is how a show's run. This is one of the sexiest spots I think we have on sets. Look how sexy the lighting is back there. You got the little waterfall that comes down here. Now, this is the kind of spot I would love to chill out in Vegas for like five or 10 minutes. So, yeah, it's called the Bellisera here. You got all kinds of drinks. I'm in apple martinis right now, actually, but not in the martini glass. I try to butch it up and put in a little shot glass or something, you know, just to make it a little bit more masculine. We actually had uh, the president and uh, CEO of Mandalay Bay, Glenn Schaefer, who was so kind to let us shoot in his casino during the, the pilot. And he, he came over, and the first thing he did was go, my god, you built my casino. I think we did a good job. No one knows we don't shoot in Vegas. I mean, they do now, but. I just gave it all away. How about that drink now? Cheers. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the Montecito Resort and Casino Surveillance Room. Stop. That's not funny. Start again. <laughs>